You know what I love besides pizza? It's a good theory. A good theory that gets you thinking about the things we love. Which, of course, if you're on this channel, there's three things we love. We love comic books, we love talking about the movies based on comic books, and then we love outlandish theories that might lead to some fact, and then we go, yeah, look at how right we were because of all those comic book things we read. Yeah, it feels good. Well, today we're coming in with a new theory that we somewhat talked about on our last podcast, but I kind of want to go a little bit more into it and talk about it at another level. So, of course, ever since the reveal of Cable for Deadpool, too, a lot of people took notice that Cable does have a little teddy bear attached to his side. Now, this isn't just a running gag. This is actually very important when it comes to Cable, who he is and why he might be traveling through time if they're going to relate it like that in this continuity. So let me give you a quick breakdown of why this is important. In Cable's history, he travels back through time to protect hope. As she's born in this time where mutant population is more or less just going to hell. Um, Mutants are very rare and they're not being born. And more or less there is a prophecy that says that she is going to be the one that re-sparks mutant birth once again. At one point she was even the host of the Phoenix Force. So in the comics essentially these guys called the Purifiers go and destroy an entire town in hopes of also killing her. Cable rescues her and this sets them off on their mission. Now also there is a mention of Hope in that little, you know, teaser for Deadpool 2 that played before Logan. As we see Hope's name is written on one of those phone booths. So a lot of interesting stuff that might be pointing towards what the possible storyline could be. Or they could just be playing tricks on us and this is a little easter egg that he has that bear just to kind of tell you about it. But I honestly think that it would be a cool thing to include that in there since Cable is going to be time traveling. They are saying they're going to get touching upon his story a little bit but not the full way we might want. So honestly I'm excited if it is Hope Summers because that opens up this whole other aspect of insanity to the whole Deadpool universe. And I think it could use a lot more of that because, well, it's Deadpool. Um, You guys let me know your thoughts on it. Do you want to see Hope Summers in this? 